What's up, Sneaky Nation? Sneaky P here, back with week three of our Cougars franchise. Today, we are taking on the Tennessee Titans. This is our first division game of this season. And if you did not watch last season, the division games are huge in terms of how the playoffs are going to unfold. Granted, if we win our division by a few games, it won't really matter, but... Last season, our division was pretty tight. Granted, very weak division, but a pretty tight division. And these uh, games really and truly make all the difference in the world. Not only with um, standings, obviously, but getting a tiebreaker over a team really can make a difference. So definitely have to win all of these division games as they come. Uh, luckily, I think we had a better record than the Titans last year. I could be wrong on that. Right now, we do have a better record than them. So let's go ahead and uh, extend this lead a little bit further by winning this game here. We did come off a heartbreaking loss last week against the Jets. I really feel like we should have won that. I don't know what happened with the defense, but hopefully they can rebound this week against Jake Locker and the Titans' Chris Johnson with that 99 speed, something to look out for. Their rookie Mason there, Lonnie Pryor, former Jaguar, uh, never made the Cougars roster, but he is familiar with a lot of the players on this team. There's that Samuel Berdeski guy. I guess it was a glitch where I thought... Ah, sorry, I thought they were advertising that he'd be in this upcoming draft class, but I guess he was just in the previous one, and I saw that draft story. Going down the list, you know, this is a team we can beat. They are very good in the secondary, but other than that, I don't know. I feel like we have a good shot of winning this game. Our team's really going to need to bring it, though. We cannot give up passing guards like we did last week. Walsh is going to get us underway here. Looks like this one might be kneeled down, and that will be the case. So Jake Locker hands it off to Chris Johnson to get things going, and a nice run up the left side for Johnson. About 17 yards there. They're going to hand it off to him again, and once again, untouched. Johnson running all over this Cougar defense early on. 37 yards on two carries. He is going to run into Ray Lewis there and only get a yard. This time he's going to try to run it on the right side. Gets tripped up. Picks up about six on the play. Third and three. Now Jake Locker is going to take matters into his own hands and run for the first down. Ten yard rush there. Another handoff to Chris Johnson here. And he is gone. Touchdown Tennessee Titans. What is going on with this Cougars defense? They just ran all the way down the field. They didn't even pass the ball at all. Joswiak taking over for the Cougars now. Finds Cecil Shorts for a nine yard reception. A little play action. Joswiak, that pass is going to be batted down. Third and one now. Golden Tate making the first down reception. That goes for seven. No Sean Moreno on the right side gets tripped up. Picks up four on the play. Second and six now for Joswiak. Pressure's coming. Gets the ball off of Chris Usu. Another first down for the Cougars. Joswiak this time finds a Wusu again. 18 yards on two catches for him early on. And a third first down catch in a row by Chris Wusu. Make that 34 yards on four or three catches for him early on. No Sean Moreno on the right side and he is gone. Touchdown Cougars 7-7. to So they both ran for that touchdown from about the same distance out. I don't know what was going on with our defense that first possession, but they need to pick it up. Let's see if they can do it here. Chris Johnson runs into a wall there. He did pick up five yards on the play. First pass of the day for Jake Locker. Finds Pryor, the former Jaguar, and he will pick up the first down seven yards there. Little pitch to Chris Johnson. Now another first down run. 88 yards on seven carries. He is having a field day with this defense. Then a drop pass there is very fortunate for the Cougars, but Delaney Walker will make an amazing first down grab there. This time they find Spath, I believe, and he will pick up three yards there. Second and seven. Pressure is coming. Ryan Kerrigan. Oh, I'm sorry. John Latulale making the sack. I thought it was Kerrigan for a second. And another sack holding the rookie defensive tackle his last day, his last game in the starting spot before Geno Atkins takes over. But holding, trying to save that spot, and that's the way to do it, making a play like that, knocking him out of field goal range. So they had to punt the ball. We have the ball back. It's going to be third and six now. For Jaws, we have pressures coming. He finds Frank Gore on the left side. First down for the Cougars. Seven-yard reception there. No Sean uh, Moreno. Sorry, I have something in my throat. No Sean Moreno picked up three there. Chris Wusu on the left side, first down, 47 yards on four catches for him. Joswiak this time on the left side finds a Wusu again, 54 yards receiving for him. Joswiak finds Doran Dickerson for the first down. Dickerson, I really think he's going to be big this year, guys. I know I keep saying it, but 
I, I'm really excited about Dickerson. Avoided the interception now. Third and eight. Pressure's coming. Joswiak is going to get sacked. Wembley making the play. And now we're going to have to punt the ball. Maddox. Maddox knocks it out on the one. It bounced off of his back, I think. And that is a huge play. Going for the safety. They cannot get him. Second and ten now from the one-yard line. Pressure's coming. Locker gets hit as he throws the ball, but he does complete the pass. Third and five now. Pressure again coming. And Johnson's going to lose a yard there. So great field position now for the Cougars. Frank Gore on the left side. Uh, picks up about five. Second and five now. And Blackman with an amazing catch there that goes for 11 yards. That one's going to be batted down. So it's going to be second and seven. Moreno up the middle. A great run of about nine yards. Third and one now. Joswiak finds the Wusu. First down for the Cougars. 100 yards passing now for Joswiak as he finds Blackman again. For a seven-yard reception there, Moreno has nowhere to go. It's going to be third and three. This is a big play now. Joswiak finds Doran Dickerson picking up the first down. Nine yards on two catches for him. Then Jake Stoneburner into the end zone. Touchdown, Cougars. That will give them a 14-7 lead in Tennessee. Definitely good to get those points up on the road. Uh, whenever I have a seven-point lead, I always feel a lot more comfortable in the game. So time for the defense to step up. Jake Locker and the Titans have under five minutes to go. And Maddox is getting the sack. Donard Maddox, the rookie sensation, contributing in the pass rush game. Now they are going to hold him there. So the Cougars getting the ball back with three minutes and 30 seconds to go. Let's see if we can get some more points up on the board before halftime. No Sean Moreno making the grab for about seven yards. Third and three, a little play action here on the right side. Chris Owusu takes it to the 50 yard line there. First and 10 now for the Cougars. No Sean Moreno on the right side, picks up eight yards. Second and two, play action. Joswiak dropping back, pressure's coming, and it is going to be picked off by Gooden. That is unfortunate. So now the Titans have two minutes to go. Trying to get more, more uh, points up on the board. Trying to tie the game before halftime. Kendall Wright making a great grab there. Second and one now for Jake Locker and the Titans. He throws it over the middle. Finds Spath. Spath picks up the first down about the 46-yard line. Locker throwing a bomb down the field. Intercepted by DJ Moore. He was so great at intercepting the ball last season. That is his first this year. And a perfect time to do it. Giving us about a minute 30. That's his 20th NFL career interception. Nice. So a minute 30 for Joswiak and the Cougars to go down the field. Get some more points up on the board. Jake Stoneburner with a nice first down. Takes it up to the 43-yard line. And Noshaw Moreno will get it up to the 49. It's going to be second and four across midfield. Noshaw Moreno now. So they are getting close to field goal range here. Joswiak dropping back and he finds Blackman. Touchdown Cougars. Blackman burned the defense. Joswiak found him. And just like that, one play can make such a huge difference. 21-7, to a 14-point lead now. They still have 30 seconds to go, and passes like that could put them in field goal range quickly. Hunter making the great grab there. Locker on the left side this time. He does complete it for nine yards. Second and one now on the left side. Spates will pick, or Spates will pick up the first down. First and 10. Jake Locker dropping back. That one's going to be dropped. A huge hit waiting for him. Second and 10. Finds Hunter. Hunter cannot get in the field goal range. Third and five now. Pressure's coming. Hunter will get in the field goal range there, but that would be it for the halftime. So second half now. Joswiak taking over. Finds Cecil Shorts. A great first down. That is the way to start out the second half there. Frank Gore, three-yard run. Second and seven. Joswiak trying to beat the defense. He will get sacked. Wembley again making the sack there. Then Justin Blackman on the right side. He fumbles the ball, though. He gets across midfield. Nobody is there to jump on a Griffin finally will and that is a huge play for the Titans defense they are going to review this though I think he might have been down let's go ahead and check out the replay there you have it his knee is down so we will hold on to the ball huge play there by Blackman Frank Gore with a great run picking up 10 there and then on the left side Golden Tate getting involved 20 yards on two catches for him Frank Gore going down to about the five six yard line there Doran Dickerson runs it up to the one-yard line. Little play action here. Joswiak dropping back. Doran Dickerson. Touchdown, Cougars. 28-7. All of a sudden, they are running away with this game. And Doran Dickerson. Oh, I love this fullback. He is so good at everything now. Now that I improved his run block, he is just a monster. 
And Chris Johnson picking up the first down. Over 100 yards for him now. They kind of stopped running. And I don't know why because he was destroying my defense. Maybe because they're behind they feel the need to pass the ball. But the way he was running it, they could have done that all game long. And I don't know that I would have had an answer. As it is, they are passing the ball. It's going to be third and inches now. He hands it off and Johnson gets stuffed by Ryan Kerrigan. Huge fourth or third down stop there. Frank Gore taken back over with a nice reception of eight yards there. Pressure's coming. Joswiak is going down. Third and 14 now for the Cougars across the middle. Justin Blackman, another nice grab, but it is not going to be enough for a first down. He has 93 yards receiving. That huge bomb at the end of the second is a huge play. And just like that, Cougars are back on defense. Third and five now. Locker's going to try to run it. He has nowhere to go, though. Ray Lewis stopping him. So the Cougars take him back over. A 21-point lead. Frank Gore, nice little juke move, picks up five yards. Joswiak on the right side finds Blackman who drops the pass. That is not good, but he's had a great game. We'll forgive him this time. And Blackman will make up for it on the very next possession. 113 yards on six catches for him. He's having a great game. Joswiak will get sacked by Martin there. Second and 18. Finds Tim Tebow on the left side. That goes for about four yards. Third and 14. Moreno's just going to run the ball. And we are going, I don't know, 57-yard field goal. We're going to fake it. Cadigan dropping back, finds no Sean Moreno, first down. I was looking at it, I'm like 57 yards, I don't know, you'll see I'm missing a timeout. I had to think about it, and it paid off. Cadigan finding no Sean Moreno on a play fake, and then Cecil Shorts into the end zone, touchdown for the Cougars, 35-7. to We are running away with this division game on the road. That is what I wanted to see from this team after that heartbreaking loss. And then they're still going to pressure the quarterback. Latulale, his second sack of the game, second and 17. They have a quarter to make up a lot of yards, and now they're trying to run it, but it might be too late. Now, third and 15, Locker dropping back, and that one's just not even going to be close to a first down. So the Cougars take, take him back over. All they really need to do now is waste this clock down. Give it to Gore. He has nowhere to go on two straight plays, though. No Sean Moreno has nowhere to go, so they're going to have to punt the ball. Locker taking back over for the Titans. He's got about nine minutes to work with. I mean, he's going to need to pull out some Peyton Manning-type passes right now and that's the way to do it a great first down to Justin Hunter first and 10 wide open Nate Washington now he's been kind of quiet today 43 yards on four catches for him pressure's coming locker gets the ball off to Hunter it's only going to pick up two yards though after a false start it'll be second and 13 make that third and 13 Jake Locker throwing it on the left side and he cannot hold on to the ball that would have been a first down that is a huge momentum killer. It would have taken a miracle anyway, but I'm pretty sure that one's going to seal their fate as the Cougars just run the clock down now. Four minutes to go. Locker dropping back. Let's see if we can get some more sacks or something. If we can hold him to only seven points, I will be so happy. And he's actually having a pretty good game. 22 of 28 passing, I believe. So our defense still... Giving it up to wide receivers. I mean, they're just wide open. But this time, it's a little bit different. They haven't had too many down-the-field strikes. As I say that, of course, they get one. Um, but it has not been near as bad as the Jets game. It's a little bit more balanced, and uh, we still need to figure something out. There's there's nobody within 10 yards of him. That's just unacceptable. First and 10, Locker just throws that one away. Second and 10 now, pressure is coming. Throws it over the middle, almost intercepted. He cannot come down with it. Third and 10 now, Locker over the middle again. Good defense there. They are going to have to kick a field goal, and it's going to be wide left. That is why I did not try to kick that long field goal. The wind is absolutely crazy. So, minute 30 left. Let's go ahead. Let's run this clock out. 35-7, to 7, the Cougars are going to pick up a win. I love that play fake. I know, I know. I already had a lead. I didn't really need to run up the score, but, I mean, it would have been a 57-yard field goal that I would not have made, or I could have punted the ball, but... Why would I punt it if I'm that close to him? I might as well at least go for it, see what I can do. Um, I, I'm especially happy that I did it on a fake kick like that. Cadigan making the pass. I think it went for like 21 yards. So 35-7, to that's a huge win for this Cougars team. We moved to 2-1. and one. Uh, We already have an early division game over the Titans. That's great. Van Joss, we had 329 yards, four touchdowns, only one interception. He has been improving a lot, and I'm pretty sure it's the Justin Blackman. It is Justin Blackman, 
burning the defense. That was such a huge play. Honestly, without that play, it would have only been a seven-point game going into halftime. So that really changed the momentum around completely. 34-41, a great game for Van Joswiak. And uh, Levi Cadigan completing that pass. I love that. 21 yards, one for one. Levi, uh, I like him. He's a pretty good backup. No Sean Moreno, 11 carries, 63 yards. 10 carries, 53 yards for Frank Gore. Moreno did get that touchdown on about a 20-yard run, I think. Doran Dickerson had a five-yard run as well. Receiving the ball, Chris Owusu, seven catches, 67 yards. <coughs> Blackman, 113 yards. And... Uh, Again, I love I love the diversity of our receiving core and how everybody's kind of getting involved. You really don't know who's going to make the catch on any given play. Our set, or we had uh, Dickerson get a touchdown, uh, Stoneburner. It was awesome. Um, but guys, thank you so much for watching these videos. The amount of support you guys have shown me lately has been absolutely amazing. Um, I did have to reboot my computer. That's why I don't have the thumbnails. I have somebody who said he's working on it, which is amazing. It's so awesome that I have subscribers that are helping me out like that. Guys, thank you so much. I will see you next time. This is Sneaky P. Later.